Story time. In a land covered by mist, mountain, and seas, there lived a young couple who wanted a child desperately. They tried every method available, and eventually, she conceived. And so, a boy was born. He had two arms, two legs, and a single head. He was everything they had ever wanted. It wasn't until his first bath that they noticed he had a golden screw instead of a belly button. Neither his mum nor his dad thought anything of it. And it wasn't until the boy grew up that he realised not everyone has a golden screw instead of a belly button. He asked his mother what it was for. She didn't know. He asked his father, but he had no idea either. He tried to ask his grandparents, but they were busy. Although disappointed, he tried to forget about it, and he managed for a while, playing games with his screwless friends and sacrificing worms to the sun. But always, in the dead of night, he questioned why the gods had made him different. Why they'd given him a screw instead of a belly button. Until his 16th birthday, when he packed his car and headed off on the ultimate road trip to discover his screw's purpose in life. First, he tried the local doctors. They gave him a few pills, a pamphlet on mental illness, and charged him a fortune. Then, he tried the local jewellers, thinking if anyone knew about gold, it'd be them. But the jeweller just tried to rip it out, and so the boy left smartly. And so, he continued his journey over rivers, mountains, and seas. He asked philosophers, drug lords, hobos, and Buddhists. He asked bankers and budgeters and big British physicists. Yet still, nothing. Exhausted and almost hopeless, the boy reached the last place on earth, the North Pole. And there he met the wisest of the wise, the merriest of the merry. He had a red and white hat on and a rather large stomach. His name was Santa Claus. The moment Santa caught the screwed boy in his two wise eyes, instantly he knew the boy's story, his problems, and the lengths he'd gone to overcome them. Santa reached into his sack of awesomeness and drew out a golden box. He handed it to the boy and then promptly disappeared. The boy's desire was too much. He bit through the golden tape and opened the golden box. Inside was a golden bag. Inside the golden bag was a golden screwdriver. A single tear slid from the boy's eye as he quickly stripped out of his robe and stood naked in the snow. He put the screwdriver to his golden screw. He turned it once, twice, three times, and then his butt fell off. His butt fell off. His butt fell off.